Do you want to be made well? The sick man answered him. He says, Sir, I have no man to put me into the pool when the water is stirred, but while I'm coming, another steps down before me. <laughs> it's a simple question that requires a simple answer. God comes to us, Jesus comes to us, and he says, Do you want to be made well? Yes or no? <laughs> If he said no, he would have sent him to a psychiatrist. <laughs> Probably. Probably not. Jesus could deal with any problem. Amen. Mental, physical, spiritual, emotional, relational, financial. He deals with the whole lot. He's the true general practitioner. Yeah. Hallelujah. There ain't no practitioner that knows about anything on Jesus, I can tell you. I can speak mm -hmm. from experience from a few miracles I've had in my own life. Mm -hmm. Jesus said to him, rise, take up your bed, and walk. And immediately the man was made well, took up his bed, and walked. Uh-oh. And that day was the Sabbath. Here comes the religious. <laughs> Ever got something from God and somebody very religious comes along and says, but, but, but how do you really know it's God? I had a guy come to me that one time and do that. He said, How do you really know it's God that healed you? Well, it wasn't the devil, because he was making me sick. <laughs> eh? God doesn't make you sick. God will take every opportunity. Jesus will take every opportunity. The Holy Spirit will take every opportunity to glorify the Father. Hallelujah. Amen. This sickness is not under death. But that the works of God may be done, that God may be glorified. And that day was the Sabbath. The Jews therefore said to him who was cured, It is the Sabbath. It is not lawful for you to carry your bed. This guy, after 38 years, gets off his bed, walks, carries his bed, and the religious have only got one thing to say. Who told you to pick up your bed and carry it? How dare you? How dare you get well and feel better and smile? Who told you you could do that? <laughs> Who told you you could get up and dance? You weren't dancing last week or for the last 38 years. How come you can get up and dance now? Who told you you can get up and dance? Well, the devil didn't tell me I could get up and dance. Jesus told me I could get up and dance. So I did. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Sometimes you've got to hang on long enough till you get your miracle. Amen. 38 Amen. years. 38 years. He answered them, He who made me well said to me, Take up your bed and walk. Then they asked him, Who is the man who said to you, Take up your bed and walk? But the one who was healed did not know who it was. He didn't even know it was Jesus. He didn't even know it was Jesus. But when Jesus spoke, there was power. There was power in that word that Jesus spoke and the man just had to believe. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. He had to hear that word and then faith came and then he had to act in obedience. He didn't even know it was Jesus. He didn't even know who Jesus was. He just needed a miracle. Anybody ever given you a list of 20 things you've got to do before you can get your miracle? 